Hello everyone. In this presentation, I am going to explain you about the performance of SSB radio receivers. In the previous presentation, I have explained the general block diagram of a radio receiver and the performance of DSB AC radio receivers. Now, let us look at the block diagram of a SSB radio receiver. The first block in every radio receiver will be a bandpass filter followed by the demodulator. Here we are considering a coherent detection, hence the demodulator consists of the product modulator followed by the low pass filter. The received signal will be Z of T is the modulated signal plus the white noise. The output of the bandpass filter will be the modulated signal and the narrow band noise. Considering the lower sideband of the SSB signal, we have the expression for SSB as S of t equal to half C A C cos 2 pi F C T M of t plus half C A C sin 2 pi F C T M cap t. If we are choosing a upper sideband instead of plus, we will have a minus sign. Average power of this signal component is mean square value of S of t that is half square c square the mean square value of a c cos 2 pi f c t is a c square by 2 and the mean square value of m of t is represented by p. Similarly, for the second term if you sum up the two we get it as c square a c square p divided by 4. The average noise power within message bandwidth is n naught into w which we have seen in the previous presentation. The channel signal to noise ratio is defined as the ratio of average power of the modulated signal to the average power of the noise within message bandwidth both measured at the input of the receiver. We have seen the signal power and the noise power taking the ratio we get SNR at the channel as c square a c square p divided by 4 n naught into w. Now, let us see for SNR at the input. It is defined as the ratio of the average power of the modulated signal to the average power of the filtered noise both measured at the input of the demodulator. The signal power remains the same which is equal to c square a c square p divided by 4 as we have just seen before. Now, let us look at the noise power. The noise power at the output of the bandpass filter is a narrow band noise. The center frequency of the bandpass filter is f c minus w by 2 hence the noise power is also centered at f c minus w by 2. The figure shows the PSG of the noise at the output of the bandpass filter. Since bandpass filter is centered at F c minus w by 2, the noise is also centered at F c minus w by 2. The noise power is average area under the curve that is B t into N naught by 2 plus b t into n naught by 2 which is equal to n naught into b t. Here b t is equal to w hertz as we are considering SSB modulation. Therefore, S n at the input is the ratio of average power of the modulated signal that is c square a c square p divided by 4 to the average noise power at the output of the bandpass filter that is w into n naught. If you take the ratio, we get as c square a c square p divided by 4 w n naught. Now, let us look at SNR at the output. It is the ratio of average power of the demodulated signal to the average power of the noise both measured at the output of the receiver. Now, let us look at the expressions at the output of the receiver. 
that is output of the demodulator. The demodulation is a coherent detection which consists of the product modulator for which one input is the output of the bandpass filter which is a signal plus the narrowband noise and the other input is a synchronous carrier cos 2 pi FCT. The output of the product modulator is given as an input to the low pass filter. If you substitute the expressions, we get it as the expression shown here. The first part is a signal component and the remaining terms are the noise component. We have to evaluate the signal power and the noise power. Now, first us now first let us look at the noise power calculations. In order to find out the noise power, we should know the PSD of N of t, we should know the PSD of N i of t, then we should know the PSD of N i of t cos pi w t. Similarly, it will be equal to the N q of t sin pi w t. The PSD of N of t as we know is given as shown in figure 1. Now, the PSD of N i of t equal to N q of t is given by the spectrum shown here. This is obtained by using one of the property of the narrow band noise which is given by S n i of f equal to S n q of f equal to S n of f plus f c plus S n of f minus f c. That means, we have to advance the figure S n of f by the center frequency f c minus w by 2 units delay S n of f by the center frequency f c minus w by 2 add the two spectrums we get the spectrum as given in figure 2. Now, let us look at the PSD of N i of t cos pi w t which is same as N q of t sin pi w t. We have one of the property of the narrow band noise as if y of t equal to cos 2 pi f c t x of t then s y of f equal to 1 fourth s x of f minus f c plus s x of f plus f c. Here, if cos function has the center frequency f c, the spectrum will be delayed by f c, advanced by f c and adding and then multiplying by 1 by 4. Similarly, we here we have the term n i of t cos pi w t. The center frequency will be w by 2. Hence, we have to advance the spectrum of n i of t by w by 2 units, delay by w by 2 units, add the two spectrums, then multiply by 1 by 4, we get the spectrum shown here. If we evaluate the average area under this curve, we get it as n naught by 4 into 2 w. Now, the message component in y of t is C A C m of t divided by 4. Average power of this component is C square a c square p divided by 16. The noise component in y of t is given by this expression. If it if we find out the average power of this noise component, we get it as w n naught divided by 4. Therefore, SNR at the output is equal to the signal power by the noise power which we get it as c square a c square p divided by 4 w n naught figure of merit will be 1. Now, let us look at the summary. The modulated signal is given by the expression 
एस एफ टी द नॉइज एट द इनपुट ऑफ द रिसीवर इज अ वाइट नॉइज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई डब्लू ऑफ टी द बैंड पास फिल्टर नॉइज इज ए नैरो बैंड नॉइज हैविंग द सेंटर फ्रिक्वेंसी एफ सी माइनस डब्ल्यू बाई टू एज वी आर यूजिंग ओनली द लोअर साइड बैंड एवरेज पावर ऑफ द सिग्नल कॉम्पोनेंट इज सी स्क्वायर ए सी स्क्वायर पी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर एवरेज नॉइज पावर विद इन मैसेज बैंड विथ इज डब्ल्यू एन नॉट इफ वी टेक द रेशियो ऑफ द टू वी गेट एस एन आर एट द चैनल नाउ एवरेज नॉइज पावर एट द बैंड पास फिल्टर आउटपुट इज बी टी इन टू एन नॉट विच इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एन नॉट द रिसीवर आउटपुट इज गिवन बाय द एक्सप्रेशन एज वाई ऑफ टी इन दिस द सिग्नल कॉम्पोनेंट इज पॉइंट टू फाइव सी ए सी एम ऑफ टी इट्स पावर विल बी पॉइंट टू फाइव स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर ए सी स्क्वायर पी एवरेज नॉइज पावर एट द आउटपुट ऑफ द रिसीवर वी हैव सीन एज डब्ल्यू एन नॉट बाई फोर एस एन आर एट द आउटपुट इज द रेशियो ऑफ द टू दैट इज सी स्क्वायर ए सी स्क्वायर पी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर डब्ल्यू एन नॉट लास्टली द फिगर ऑफ मेरिट इज एस एन आर एट द चैनल एंड द एस एन आर एट द आउटपुट रेशियोज विच इज इक्वल टू वन इन द नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ए एम रेडियो रिसीवर्स थैंक यू